Hi, everybody. I have happy mail today. My UPS man just bought, brought me my brand new, freshly printed copy of Ocean Imaginary. Artist Ruby Charm Colors, Susan Carlson. And as you know, I've been sneak peeking a few pages here and there. But um, now it's time to see the entire book. Now I'm going to do this holding my phone and flipping with one hand. So be patient with me. I probably am going to have technical difficulties, but I do not have a holder right now. And um, I couldn't get the right angle using my iPad propped up like I normally do. <clears throat> so this is the front cover. It's a uh, really beautiful little bit uh, blue, not totally black. Gives you that watery feel. It's quite lovely. It has that uh, velvety finish. Um, I've already got something on it apparently. Um, that her other books have that's just so delightful. And here I am with my coloring of one of her pages on the back cover, which is such an honor, alongside Betty Hung and Laura King. Um, we're the Ruby Charm Colors team. Uh, we just are huge fans and do our best to support Susan any way we can and get y'all excited about her work because we love her that much. So let's do our flip through. This um, book is just as beautiful as the other books that you've seen. And uh, I feel like I got exceptionally good paper from this printer this time. Um, one of the things I want to point out is uh, the please do and the please don't. Please do copy pages for personal use on your favorite paper or cardstock. This is something I love to do when I'm using wet mediums. Just uh, something that Susan allows and encourages you to do. Um, if you're a marker person too, you might want to do that because this, uh, most coloring book papers are not set up for markers. But I'm going to point out some things that um, are helpful for that in this book. Post your colored images on social media and give Ruby Charm Colors credit with the hashtag along with your name, she wants to see who's coloring her art. Do not, do not is important. Make duplicates digital or physical of the original to sell or share or give away, or post uncolored images online or coloring apps or share via email through other digital venues or platforms. Use any image in whole or in part, whether colored or not, to create new images, cards, crafts, products, etc., for sale or commercial use. So, Susan is an artist. Her work is copyrighted. So let's all respect that as we share her work and ex excitement with each other. Um, make sure that people aren't able to use it for their thievery means. We know we hate that when our artists get taken advantage of because they share and give us so much. So this book is really lovely. Um, all the art in it is just to me is so very appealing um, every page has a place for something, uh, whether you're doodling or testing pencils. Um, there's a really lovely list of all the plates, original, and a couple that you might have seen before. But all of them are included in this beautiful theme. Of course, her opening page. Some things about the book. Some of her fabulous tips are included in here. And as usual, you have places to create and play, test out, you know, maybe some color schemes. And then you have the full plate page, place where you can keep notes, talk about your process, maybe write down your brands, things like that, um, so that you know what you did. If you end up doing something you love and you want to be able to duplicate that. Um, I, that's one of my favorite things about Susan is that she respects the artist and gives them that space. Now here's one of the things I want to talk about. If you notice, this full plate page is printed with a black backside. Now this helps. This helps with bleed through. It helps with durability. It doesn't prevent all bleed through. If you're using heavy uh, alcohol markers or you use a lot of water, things like that. There will still be some. But this also is a great reminder to put 
Let me switch hands here for a second. Um, what I use is this sheet of plastic that came with my custom artist edition black magic book. I put that in here and then I will color my page. And what's great about putting that in here is bleed through, but also um, I press hard. And so it keeps me from denting the page below or even a couple pages below. So uh, I recommend that with any book and I do that with every book. And I even had a Joanna Basford book that I forgot to put something in between. And uh, the ink actually from her own print transferred to the page and then the page had double ink on it because I had pressed so hard. So um, I always recommend that. Anyway, there's my plastic. You can kind of see it there. Um, I like the plastic because it's waterproof and whatever. This is going to be so amazing to color in black. Don't you just love it? And here are the most adorable otters. I love the otter series. Um, I haven't sneak peeked any otters, so surprise! Lobsters and otters. This is a beautiful scene. I just love it. And I think most of you that follow us, you've seen Ophelia. Um, I believe Laura was the one who came up with the names for the octopuses. Um, boy, I hate to misspeak, but I, I think she had a, a strong input in the octopus names in the end. Um, all three of the coloring team, we've all colored this one. You've seen our work in our Facebook group and on our Instagram accounts. Um, just love it. Just, I, I love that she's an octopus with flowers. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, the creativity. I can't wait to color her in black. So very cool. I have colored the jellyfish. I printed those out on a cardstock, a tinted cardstock. Super fun. Can't wait to do them again. You'll note too, the areas to play and record. And then the black backside to help protect the full plate image. The seahorse is one that a Facebook group got early. We've all been coloring it and enjoying him so much. He's uh, quite mischievous with his uh, devious tongue sticking out there. I love uh, the imaginary aspect on Susan's latest two books, this one and the Insect Imaginary, because um, when things are too realistic, it feels limiting to me. I love that uh, being imaginary, we don't have a correct way to color things, so we can be more free, more creative. Um, lionfish is one that you may have seen before. Um, he is so detailed and awesome, amazing. It's also in the Custom Artist Edition Black Magic you can only get through her Etsy shop. Sea turtles. Who does not love a sea turtle? We all have an affection for them, I believe, because, you know, we know they're endangered and they're just so adorable and graceful. And, and this seahorse, ah, I did this one in one of my other books. I just love him. I can't wait to color him again. There's so many ways to play with them. And all of these ocean inspired living creatures. You can just imagine them gently moving in the water currents and then to make a night scene in the water. There's so many ways to go with this. I love sea lions. I've never seen, been to California and seen them. My friends tell me that they actually smell pretty bad. So <laughs> at least this beautiful sea lion on Susan's page does not have any foul odors. Here is our Nautilus creature. I think he's so mysterious. I have colored this page before the book was released, and I am looking forward to giving it another try. I just really like that I can do multiple color schemes and not do anything wrong 
with that. The peace whales are really great. I am going to flip through a little bit faster now because my phone is giving me some bizarre heat warning. Let's see, flying fish. This one is great. I love Laura's version of this. You should go to Duke's wife's account on Instagram and see. And I can't again wait to do this on black. If you haven't become a black paper fanatic yet, then you haven't been a Susan Carlson fan long enough. It's contagious. This one is amazing and intricate. I love the intricacy. And this is so funny. I love this belly of a jelly. Who doesn't love a good mandala? And surprise, you get to do that one in black too. Mm -mm. I think the otters are about to come out and play again. <gasps> Look at that. Aren't they cute? Ooh, this would be good for like a rainbow theme. You could really play with that here. I love this fish. Isn't he beautiful? I really enjoyed coloring him. He's on the, this is the page that's on the back cover that I colored. It was such a treat and really fun. And these are coral towers, but I colored them more like bubble towers, but since it's their coral. And I have not touched the crabs. I can't wait to color them. They're so neat. And they also have the cute flower and leaf detail. Adding that plant life to the sea creatures is amazing. And he comes in black, Mr. Botanical Crab. Or Mrs. Who knows? Oh, this is a pretty seahorse. And a pair of them. Oh, I like this page too. Sometimes when you don't have a lot of time, you just want to scribble on the doodle, scribble, that sounds terrible, um, play on the pages that have a little bit of artwork. Oh, look at them. This one is just so amazing. Susan did color this one. You should go to her Instagram and look at it because it's so intricate that you really um, might want to see it colored before you tackle it so you know what all these spaces and lines really look like what she intended. Oh, all these shells will be fun to play with. Old Man of the Sea. I can't wait to do this one again because I uh, I really feel like I flubbed on this one. I have colored this page and somehow I just didn't come out like I was hoping. So I'm really looking forward to redoing him and doing a better job. And can you imagine him at night? Ugh really make an intimidating gorgeous page there's something more on that meditative mandala type feel those days when you just want to not overthink and you just want to pick up a pencil and do the same thing sometimes I really do enjoy that because I'm having a hard time turning one page because it's relaxing, sometimes I get overwhelmed trying to pick my next color. I don't know if you've had that. And uh, this one has been around in a couple of her different books, but again, it just had to be in here. We couldn't leave it out. Ooh, that's fun. Because it's just so beautiful. And it's this is just Susan all over it. You just have to have it in, in this Ocean Imaginary book. I'm sorry. It keeps, it's wanting to, to close now that it's, uh, I'm getting more towards the end and I'm one-handed. Oh, look at that. Wow. This page is really something. It's called Fish in a Cave. Ooh, you can make a really dark background with this one. Beautiful. Mm, and a color chart and some tips to play with. And you can log your pencils in here if you need color charts and remember you can even make these uh, into copies on cardstock if you like 
But keep in mind that Susan is working on some amazing uh, books for next year. Um, if you remember the Creative Companion of 2019, which I actually have right here, um, there will be a 2020 coming out, and it is going to be different and improved and have a couple new fun things that I don't even know about yet. Um, so there's that, and uh, she also has a pencil chart book coming out. Just so much fun stuff. You just really need to, to keep up, but this is the cover of the one this year, and um, I have loved it, and it has helped me, and I record everything in it. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it real quick because it's just my favorite thing. And uh, I can go back and look and see what did I color my sea turtles with, which brand of pencil, which color schemes did I use, and I don't have to remember. I've got um, my whole year of things in here pages that I colored and how I colored them is all in my creative companion. I highly recommend purchasing the 2020 when it becomes available. But uh, I know that you will love this book. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. Um, I really feel like this, the one I've got this time in my hands, this paper is, I think it's the best paper I've gotten yet from this publisher. So um, that's exciting. Maybe that's uh, going to be consistent and everybody's going to get paper that they won't complain about anymore because some people don't like the paper, but I just, I've not had a problem with it. I think it's, it's fabulous and um, I've, I've enjoyed coloring in her books directly and I also enjoy getting her PDFs off of Etsy um, when I want to use a card stock. So uh, support, support our artists and Order this book off of Amazon. I think you'll really love it. And thank you for watching.